Hi, my name is Wenda, and welcome to O'Neill Artworks and Lightbox SVG. I also have a new store called Stained Glass Files, so I hope you visit. Anyway, today I'm going to show you how to create these amazing creepy eyes. <laughs> They're just so awesome. So first I'm going to upload the template. Great, and you can see that there are five different versions of the creepy spooky eyes, and there are five different rectangles. Those rectangles are to cut vellum. You don't have to use vellum. I like to use vellum because I use fairy lights and it diffuses the light from the fairy lights. So we're going to load this onto our canvas. And as always, the first thing that I want to do is to make sure that I can resize it for the paper that I'm going to use. Um, many people think that all of the designs are sized for their purpose, but not everybody cuts 12 by 12. I prefer to cut eight and a half by 11 because I can buy bulk cardstock at eight and a half uh, by 11 size. So anyway, short story is all you have to do is Click on the ungroup button here in the upper right hand corner. Then select align and center. And that's going to put everything all together, all mushed up together <laughs> in this one undecipherable blob. But what it also does is it tells you what the size is of your project. So the largest size I have is 9.8. 843 by 6.837. So I know that if I'm cutting eight and a half by 11, I can go up to 10 and a half inches. And when I choose 10 and a half inches, as long as my lock proportions lock is locked, it will proportionately resize everything. Now, another thing that I just want to point out to you is uh, since we've ungrouped everything, we can just select the black, move that over. Um, one thing that Cricut doesn't do very well is group things that I know I want to fit on a certain size paper together so that they'll fit on that certain size paper. So what I'm going to do before I do anything else is just sort of group my vellum slices so that I think that they'll fit so these will be, right, so see that's 5.84 um, by 7.83. So I think, oh, sorry. So I think I'm good. Let me just select these all and I'm going to align them left and then I'm going to distribute them vertically. So now they're all nice and spaced, but I still have this one, this one hanging out. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate this 90 degrees and that's up here on the toolbar. I just typed in that 90 and I'm going to bring it next to my other slices of vellum and I'm just going to click and drag over them. So I like that because they'll all fit on my eight and a half by 11 piece of vellum. Woohoo! Now, in order for my Cricut to cut them this way and not distribute them the way that they want to distribute them, I need to choose this combined button. Combine in the lower right hand corner says combine. So I'm going to choose combine and then I'm going to choose weld. And what it does is it turns them all into a single piece. It's more than just grouping them it's welding them together. You can see them all up here. They're welded together, right? So now um, when I go to cut, it's going to put all of my uh, boxes on a single piece and it's going to cut these pieces together. I guarantee you it would not have done that <laughs> if I hadn't done, if I haven't welded it. Okay, so I'm just going to choose make it. For any material, 12 by 12. Great. And 
you may or may not know, so I'm just going to give you all the information just in case you don't know, but your Cricut will resize your material based on the color that we've selected in Design Space. So I, like I said, I'm going to be using eight and a half by 11, which is letter size. And when I choose that here on my first black graphic, it automatically resizes the other four graphics that are also that color. And you'll notice it did not resize my vellum because my vellum is a different color. But in this case, I do want it to be on eight and a half by 11. So I'm just going to change this to eight and a half by 11 and go up to the top. And then I'm going to choose continue. For me personally, today I'm using my Maker 3. I also have an Explorer Air, one of the older Explorers, which I love. Both of them I love. But for me personally, because I buy very heavyweight cardstock, I always use or nearly always use the heavy cardstock 100 pound and then set to default. So I'm going to remember this material setting because when I choose remember this material setting, it automatically allows me to load the next, um, the next mat. I don't have to come back to my computer, pick the cardstock, and then load it. But I will have to be careful because when I get down here to the vellum, I wanna make sure to choose the vellum setting because it, the vellum is much uh, thinner <laughs> than the cardstock, okay? So that's how I set it up on my Cricut and uh, next I'll show you how I assemble it. Okay, great, and here are the results. I ran out of black cardstock, that's okay. This blue is nice and dark and as long as it's in a very dark spot, it's gonna be perfect. So I've cut out all of the scary eyes. You can see that the perforated um, edges are actually cut. I do not use the scoring feature because I don't have a scoring blade. So all of my designs have actual cut perfs. And all we're going to do, and this is why this design is so easy to use, fun for kids, fun for everybody, is we're just going to fold on all of the perforated edges. There is a square and then each side has a little triangle perf. This is also designed to be hung outside. Um, I'm gonna be using fairy lights inside, but my idea was to um, just keep, have gravity keep what holds it shut. So you can see there's a little, um, there's a little hole up there for either thread or fishing line. And what you're gonna do is you're just going to hang it by that little hole. Maybe you can stick inside the uh, glow sticks. I use fairy lights because that's what I have, but if I were gonna hang these outside, I would go get glow sticks. And then, like I said, you can just pop the sides out, stick a glow stick in, close the side, and you're done. Uh, the vellum is really great for fairy lights because it really diffuses the color. I'm not sure you really need the vellum for glow sticks because it's already sort of diffused. Yep, I definitely like the vellum. So I'm going to be attaching the vellum. Let me just get my crafter's tape. Crafter's tape is double-sided tape. It's sticky to put down and then it leaves a sticky film on the inside. I just replaced this one, so it's a little wonky. There we go, okay. So I don't need to be very careful because it's going to be the inside of this lantern, right? And I just need it to hold the vellum in a way that is nice and taut. And then I'm going to close it, and then I'm going to stick my fairy lights inside, close it up, and ta-da! I am so pleased with how these turned out. I can't wait to get them outside. I can't wait to take pictures of them on my deck, in the flower pots, with the lights. Oh, can't wait. But for now, this is all you get. That's it. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you really enjoy this spooky eyes craft. Have a great day.